the input. To read the input, what do you use it? Input. input. What do you use it? Input. <coughs> I N P U T input input. What does input do? It will read in the format of string. I can put a message, but I will not do the dumb thing. Okay? Because we know it. We are we are writing it, so we don't want to put any of the messages. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, when I read the input, okay, when I read the input, let's say, let's say I am reading multiple input. Okay, they tell it in the user test cases, they tell it to read an input like this 10, 20, 30. Or they tell it 10, 20, 30. Right, right, right. When I read it by using input, by when I use it by input, how it will read it now? How it will read it? How it will read this? It will be like like this 10, 20, 30 like this. Or else it will be something like this 10 space, 20 space, 30. This is the one string. Yes, if it is in a string, how it will be in the string now? It will be something like this 1, 0, comma, 2, 0, comma, 3, 0, and it is what? Comma. Okay, this is what it is. And you have an indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone, understood so much? Understood so much? This is exactly how your multiple data are read now. Here, in place of, if you have a space, in place of comma, you have what? Space. Now, I want to separate this. I want to separate this. I want to separate this 10, I want to separate this 20, I want to separate this 30. For separation, what is the functionality you are using in the string list? Yes. What do you use it? Slash. What do you use it? Split unit. There's a function is called a split. No. Hey, sir, sir. Hey, everyone. Now, this data will give a string. This data will give a string object. For this, I will put dot. I will have what? Split. If I tell split, if I tell split, my question is, understand this. If I tell split, if I'm reading this data, it will split according to where now? Space. Space. By default, it will split according to where? Space. Space. In 1947, we did what? String programming. String. Boyer's yeah, was it. In that, one of the things is what? Split. By default, it will spread in the format of what? Space. For this no space, it will have only one object. For example, for this one. For this one, there's a space. How it will spread now? 10, 20, 30. This is one string, this is one string, this is one string. Yes, sir, sir. What is the written type of split? What is the written type of split? Uh -huh. What is the written type of split? Everyone, everyone, everyone. <coughs> I have asked this when I first time when I collected this, I have to ask you what is the written type of what? Split. What is the written type of split now? L row. L row. I have told you, remember this diagram? I have told you there are like multiple data, there are like multiple data, it should be pack. That's the reason split will pack in the form of what? what? This is pack. Yes, no, sir. Now if I have a comma here, if I have a comma here, what am I going to make a change here now? What am I going to change here now? This should be what? Split it according to wherever you have what? Comma. Now what will happen now? Now this will go to split and we will tell that wherever you have a comma, wherever you have a comma, what will do it now? 10 split it, 20 split it, and 30 split it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. Now this becomes what? Iterable object. This entire statement, this entire statement will give this answer. 10, comma, 20, comma, 30, comma, 20. Right, 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 right. Now you have an iterable object. When you have an iterable object. Now this iterable object should be converted to each data should be converted to each which, which thing we should convert it now? Integer. Which one should convert? Integer. Integer or whatever it is. Whatever the data you want to convert, you can convert it. How to convert it now? How to convert it now? I will take something like this, I will take something like this, I will take integer. If I want to convert to integer, integer of n I will type. Integer of n I will type. What is n now? N is at each element inside this. Yes, sir, sir. What I will do now? I will use this colon and I will tell that what? Yeah. Are you getting what I am writing now here? Are you getting what I am writing here? Yes, what I am writing here now? Lambda. What I am writing now? Lambda, lambda function. function. What is that? Lambda. I will use what? Lambda function. Now what happens exactly now? What happens exactly now? When I do this, when I do this, input will read it. Input again I am telling it. Input will read it. Input will read it how? This one or this one. Right, right, right now I will read it in this format. 10, 20, 30. 20, 20, 30, it will read it, it will read it from here. Now what I will read now? Dot the split error. Wherever you have a comma, wherever you have a comma, split it. This is comma split it. 2000. How much split will happen now? Two splits. Two commas, two splits will. Two splits means how many data will be there? Three, three data. So you have three data splits. And what is the written type of a uh, uh, split? List. That's the reason it will be in the form of a list. Now this is called as what? Iterable object. Yes, sir, sir. 
Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, sir. This has a zero index, one index, two index. Now, this each one data it will go to n. Mm. N will go to n. What will happen now? This n is given to this one because yes. n is converted to 18. Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, sir. Then again, what will happen now? 20 is given to n. 20 is converted to 18. 30 is given to n. 30 is converted to 18. Yes. Now, this job should be done. Either you do it manually or you call someone. Who is that someone? Mm. Who is that someone? That someone is that someone is man. That someone is who? Man. This map to take care. Understood? I understood this? This map will get the data and give it to him and it will convert it and it will convert it into such a way that it will, it will. This map will return what now? What this map will return now? What this map will return? Object. Huh? Map object will return. What will it return? Map object. Now inside that map object, what do you have exactly now? You have a 10, you have 20 data, and you have a 30 data. You want it in the list format. What will do it now? You will convert the form for list. You will convert the form for list. So if you want to store it in the list, I'll show it like a. Understood? Understood, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And this is in the part data, part one, and go for what? Part two. Now you also you can write something like this also. You can write something like this also. You can also unpack it. A, B, C also you can write. What happens when you write A, B, C now? What happens when you write A, B, C? A is given as 10 and B is given as 20 and C is given as 1. You can write multiple A as also. So much matter? A, sir, yes, sir. A, everyone? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. You can do it by other way also by using looping that is everything. But this one will be like very easy for you. In one shot, one single shot, you can plan it. Shall so look look onto it now? Shall so look onto it? First thing I step. Okay. Listen up carefully what I am telling you here. Okay? The thing is manually you are doing this one. A comma B comma C, right? C comma like this. You can do it for 10 comma 20 comma 30. This is what is now manual, right? A is 10, B is 20, C is 30. This is pack data. What is this one? This is the pack data, and this is what you are unpacking it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, everyone. Yes, sir. Right. Also, you can tell it something like this. A is equal to what you can tell it now? 10 comma 20 comma 30. This is normal thing, right? This is what manually you are passing it. Now you need to read from the user. You read from the user, that is what the task is. That for you, this task, what I will do now, I will sell as input now. I tell input now. Can I read the data like this, guys? 10, 20, 30. Yes, sir, sir. Let us 10, 20, 30. What will happen now? If you read in this format, 10, 20, 30. Yes, sir, sir. Now, what I will do it now? For this data, what I will do it now? I will sell as dot split title. What I will do it now? Dot split. Right? Split according to where, guys? Split according to where? Comma. Split according to where? Comma. And I do this way. Well. SP, I like SP. Okay. Now what will happen now? When I tell this one, what will happen now? 10, 20, 30. Yes, no, sir? Now what will happen now? 10, 20, 30 input is reading it. That input data will read in the form of what? String. String is given to a split. Now split what will do it now? Split according to a comma. And it will return in the form of what? List. Now that is what you are getting it. You are getting the list now? Yes, no, sir? This is one thing I wanted it now. Now if you want to convert this one, I would tell A of 0, A of 1, A of 2. Like this only. I don't know how many data are there. I might take 100 data also, 200 data or 300 data also. This should then work dynamically. Right? That's the reason what I'll do this now. This, I will tell it, I will tell it, I'll come here and I'll tell it, whatever the data you've got it, you got it in the list format, you got it this one in the list format. This one I want to come into integer, I'll do the int of n. Each value I'll call as what? n. Yes, no, sir? This value to get it now, what I'll do it now, I'll write a small function by using a lambda, I'll tell as n and I'll tell it what? L A M B D A lambda. Right? Now, someone need to get this data to here, someone need to get the data, this data to here, this data to here, this data to here. Who will get that one? I am not doing any program, built-in program, I will use a what? Map. Built-in function for as what? Map. This map, what will do it now? After doing this, it will return what? Map object. It will return exactly the map object. Return the map object. Right, I want to read it. Okay, 10, 20, 30. This is the process. Let's read it, split it, and we give it, and it will return what? Map object. Map object is written. Yes, no, sir. If I want to see the content, what I'll do it now? What I'll do it now? I want to convert it into form of what? List or tuple, whatever you wanted. Whatever, in whichever the list you wanted to see it, you can see it. Now I'll convert it to list now. So I'll come here and I'll want to convert it to list now. Right? Can I do this one? What will happen now? 10, 20, 30. Right? This one, I have this one. What? 10, 20, 30. 
Now this values, this values, I can give it to either I can unpack it, either I will keep it as a packed data itself. For example, I can tell that a comma b comma c equals to I also can write it now. I can write 10 comma 20 comma 30. I can read it. You have a b and c you have. Okay, or else, or else you can read it as a format of what list also, right? To the only one variable. To the one variable. This is what homogeneous. Today I am teaching you only the homogeneous. How to read the homogeneous data, right? Like this. Now what is the a value? A value is what? 10, 20, 30. Right? Like this you can read whatever the homogeneous data you wanted to do it. You can do it. Now. For example, like this. You want to read float now? You want to read float now? What do you read now? Only one change will do it. What? What is that? I tell you, oh, 80 float. You want to read boolean? You can also read boolean. Also no problem like that. 10.7, comma, 4. 45.6, comma, 7.8, right? I'll read this one. What is the A now? 10.7, 4.6, and that is it. TK, yes. isn't it nice, guys? Yes. Isn't it nice, guys? Yes. That's all. That's one single line you should know. That's all, guys. Take note.